Hey, you little Nubians. It is Sister Cardia. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today and the lovely, lovely Venture Tale. And today I'm going to be going over the Archer class. We're going to be talking about me going from level 1 to 30, some challenges I faced, my overall opinion of class, uh, some of the additives that you definitely need to be focusing on, on getting, stuff like that. So if you have not already, please make sure you... Smash, smash, smash the level like button. The same subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. So I actually plan on doing this with every single class. I'm actually halfway working on the next one as I'm recording basically the audio for this part. So let's jump right on into it. So in the beginning for Archer in general, Archer is a very easy class to point and shoot. It is very easy to pick up in the beginning. It also doesn't require a whole lot of prep either. If this is your first class that you are using in Venture Tail, it is a really good class to be using it does a ton of damage really straightforward range especially for bow and crossbow in this game is absolutely broken so overall very enjoyable class to play i didn't have too many difficulties i could run solo run as a group no problem now i did already get up to level six before the stream before this started with my stream so kind of keep that in mind i did run in the beginning level six stuff up there's actually, like I stated, not that much stuff I can be getting. Uh, the actual first thing to note is the accessory sharp arrows. So sharp arrows is going to increase your arrow damage. So this is something that, I mean, say you deal 100 points of damage. Doing 12 extra points can one-shot mobs at specific points. Overall, that was kind of the first thing you were looking for. The next item I started looking for hit around level 10 and this is something i would use the entirety of basically having my archer class and so that was arrow rain arrow rain is basically deals six damage within 20 studs well this is the advanced version because i have it upgraded seven times over three seconds it's basically a giant aoe that you can kind of put out in front of you this was something really good to help draw enemies in and it was really really easy to use so I loved this ability. It saved me so many times, especially when we were doing raids and things like that. Uh, when we started getting into our raids, so we're talking level 16, uh, I co basically constantly kept doing the raids or I was doing endless either with other people or by myself. It is really kind of easy to do with Archer. However, because you are a glass cannon, so to speak, uh, I died a lot. I'm not even gonna lie. I rarely do hardcore just because I don't want to die. But if you have no dodging skills, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. Now, once you hit the raid a stage where it's the level 16 stuff, you should have also gotten access to something called fire arrows. So fire arrows not only increases your damage, but also lights your enemies on fire. So this is really nice if that little mom has like maybe, you know, a smidgen of health left. It can actually tick over time. And with bosses, this helps with damage because it'll keep damaging them. Say if you accidentally die, it was actually really, really nice because it allowed me to send this out. And oh, it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> but usually around 15, 16 with all classes, guys, stuff slows down tremendously. And that's kind of what happened. And that's just kind of the nature of Venture Tale. So it did take a little bit longer. But if you're not aware, Bo's level 15 ability gives you plus 5% arrow damage. So this is really big, not helpful in any other classes other than crossbow, but it was actually really big playing this class for the first time. It gave me a little bit of a damage buff, uh, especially in a point when going into raids at level 16 and going into endless was going to be something of a challenge. So big thing I did was basically I just kept doing endless. I would do two or three rooms. I'd leave. I'd go back. So that was kind of how I leveled through that pretty quickly. I was able to get some decent rewards. Now, progressing on past that, uh, once we got the level 21 raids, but the level 21 raids, damage had definitely slowed down. Stuff did take significantly longer at this point. Um, my big tidbit, make sure you are investing in a good healing potion. Make sure you are conscientious on the fact that we can shoot far. Use the far. <laughs> so there's no reason to be up close and personal with a lot of these mobs. Or a ranged class and if you are choosing to use the snipe ability which is the main ability a lot of these bows have uh make sure you're lining your guys up when you're firing the snipe off because it's gonna be really really useful so again we have now entered the level 20 things 
So at level 23, you are able to get something called Brutal Arrows. Brutal Arrows increases your damage and increases your crit chance. So I will have to admit, as an archer, I will have a tremendous, tremendous amount of crit. And that's kind of how we do a lot of damage is getting those crits off, especially with our snipe attacks or our big attacks that deal extra damage, depending on what type of bow you have. So going through level 23 and up, 21 and up, especially for we're in the enchanted forest overall not too big of an issue again don't run nightmare with this class especially if you're using it for the first time or this is your first class for your playthrough it's going to be a little bit rougher i will say if you do choose this class as your first playthrough it's going to be a very enjoyable experience there's not too much variation on stuff if you've noticed me talking about that we only have like one or two or three things we use so it's actually kind of really really nice now at this point, because we've hit level 21, I definitely started focusing more on gear that was specialized towards arrow damage. So if you don't know what those are, this is a Zephyr hat right here. So if it is something that is targeted more towards a ranged class, we're going to be looking for stuff that has ranged weapon power. And that served me really, really well, especially just upgrading those. You can keep this set of gear for when you decide to go work on crossbow, because you will be needing it for that type of damage as well. So it was really something nice for me to work on because I knew I'd be able to use it again. So I did upgrade it a lot and kind of focus on it. I have mentioned in other videos, when you play through the game for the first time, getting your first class up to level 30, keep at one of everything and throw stuff into it and upgrade it. So big, 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 big tip there. If you anyone has played the game before or you're brand new, from about level 25 to level 30, if you are soloing, it takes a while because at level 26, you can enter the raids for bandit castle and for the endless mode so this is a really rough area to go through and getting xp for it my big tip do the endless mode for bandit castle and do the first room that's all i did that's all i did and the reason why is if you go to the loot table for that room this is the loot table for it There is only two mythical weapons that drop. Like everything else drops at epic and below. And that is the Thundershot, which is the ranged bow. Now I actually was on stream when this happened. So I don't actually have the clip pulled yet because the stream is still processing because YouTube's slow. But I actually got the drop for the Staff of Plague before I got the bow. But the level 30 bow. I'm not even, I'm, I am bypassing the level 27 bow. I, we are on talking about the mythical tier. The level 30 bow, so Thundershot. Oh my word, this thing is a beast. And it has a unique snipe ability, which is the lightning snipe, which fires a large arrow, piercing enemies for 785 damage, up to three enemies hit, also arcing. So it does lightning damage, it does a chain shot, it deals so much damage. Such, such a beefy thing. The critical chance for it is 34%. I have, I don't have mine upgraded up to legendary. It has great knockback, great damage. This is an absolutely insane weapon that anyone would want to use. The other item that you're going to be looking for in this area, so in the endless or in the raid, is going to be explosive arrows. So this increases your damage and does explosive arrows. So what that does is you have a 30% chance to deal uh, damage to enemies within 10 stud radius. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of broken because basically you now become an AOE firestorm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so this is something you can get. You can change it out with fire arrows or if you want to get rid of sharp arrows and use that instead. Uh, at this point, I actually got rid of the AOE because once I hit level 30 and I was playing as a level 30 class, I was more working on single target and I needed boss damage because for Bandit Castle, it is very, very heavy towards boss damage. So all in all, my thoughts on the class, again, really enjoyable to play. I played this class in beta. It is very beginner friendly. It is in-game fun really easy to work with a perfect starting class so to speak to venture tail it is also a good building class to work with and you're able to grind a lot with it so if you need to grind an area try to get some extra armor spells stuff like that really good class to do that with really versatile if you're hunting for that hardcore thing that can survive 
If, unless you're really good at dodging, you're if you get like three shot, you're dead. It's it's not even cute. So. All in all, the level 30, so the last perk that we get for this, we get 5% ranged crit chance. This is only going to be benefiting crossbow when we actually go and do it, but crossbow has some good bonuses once you actually go into it. So things to note. So the skill scroll for lovely archer. So what is the ability multi-shot? It fires a volley of five arrows. This actually goes out into a cone in front of you. I'm going to be really honest. I did not find this very useful. I would rather have the snipe to deal big damage to the bosses. And especially if you're running in a group and damage is scaling up, that's that. So clubs. This is my overall thoughts of Bo getting it up to level 30. It was it was a lot of fun. I was super excited for it. And it was kind of one of those good building classes because I got I got a ton of stuff. Like this is this is just all stuff I got through my previous run through. And so I got set up for staff. I have a, the mythic already. I've got some stuff for the other gear. I got level 15s, level 8s. It was a really good building class for me playing the game. And so I have a ton of stuff ready to go. So next class I work on, next group of classes, I'm set. I'm ready to go. So I'm super excited. But if you have any questions about the class, um, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's a class after Hammer you want me to do, because that's the current one I'm going to be working on. And that will be the next video at some point this next week. So let me know what next class. I do plan on doing one for every single class. So I'll sit down and work through each of them. Thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it, plebs. And, uh... See you next time.